Hi friends, this is Marina Chapelsky, the founder of Chapelsky Law Group, a team of attorneys and legal professionals with immigration law expertise. We will help you legalize in the United States, get you a green card and US citizenship. Today's video is cancellation of removal 42B, legalizing when you've been here in the US without status, maybe you came in without any visa across the border, but you've been here more than 10 years, you file taxes and you have young children who are US citizens or green card holders. You might've heard me say about this on TikTok, on YouTube, you might've heard other lawyers talk about legalizing through your kids after 10 years. But what is that about? I haven't talked about it for a long time. So let me break it down for you and tell you exactly how it works, how we apply and how we win, our attorneys win these kinds of cases. So first of all, who is eligible? You have to have number one, living physically in the United States more than 10 years and both having kids born here who are US citizens, or maybe you had kids who became already green card holders, but they were born elsewhere. And you had to be a good person with good moral character. And number four, so all of these are necessary, right? Number four is you have to prove that your kids have a medical or educational hardship or some other life type hardship that would make it an extreme hardship, that's a legal term here, and would make it very difficult for them to leave the United States and live with you in your home country if, God forbid, you are deported there, right? Again, you are here over 10 years and you have US citizen or green card holder children and you have paid taxes and you don't have any major criminal problems and the most important, not only you have kids who are young and you are citizens or green card holders, but you can prove that these kids have medical hardship or educational hardship or some other really tough hardship. Like for example, and this is not the strongest cases, but you know, if that's what you have, we might end up taking your case. Like if you are the breadwinner and if you leave their mother, doesn't, you know, if you are the father, the mother doesn't have really any chance to support them or in reverse if you are the mom you know the father doesn't have any skills or whatever and uh, you know he can support them if you leave right if you are a husband and wife team or like a mother and a father of these u.s citizen children you each file your own separate cancellation of removal case how do we do this how do we even file this first of all you need to do a consultation with our team we don't just take anybody with u.s citizen kids you have to qualify for the four things i mentioned you have to have a good proof of hardship if you don't or if you live in a state where the statistics show immigration judges only approve less than 10 percent of everyone who files we might tell you we cannot help you please be prepared that when you do a consultation with our team we might say no to you. And if we didn't, that means we strongly believe that you have a good chance of winning. So if we take your case, we believe in it. We don't just take anybody. We are a team and we only take people we can handle and we believe in. If you live in the state that doesn't have good immigration judge statistics, we'll tell you to move or we just won't take your case because we don't believe in taking cases that we don't believe in, right? Okay, so we start by filing for asylum. Even if you are not really afraid to return to your country, we have to put something together that looks like an asylum case, a skeleton. When it gets to immigration court, we will cancel that out, withdraw the asylum if you don't have a good asylum case. By the way, in the process of filtering these out, doing our consultations, we discover that some people actually do have a good asylum case. And sometimes we win that asylum case. But you know, you might not have thought about it because you've been in the United States for over 10 years, right? So 10 years, people know filing for asylum, you have to do it within one year of coming to America. But there are exceptions to that rule. 
if things have changed for the worst in your country, if things have moved towards like a war or something bad, bad happening, like you right now, if you're from Ukraine and this is happening in Ukraine, there's a war there and you have this situation that you can file for asylum, you might win, right? So you have a good chance to win asylum, right? But for most people, it's not about asylum. We only use asylum as a tool to get ourselves into immigration court. So USCIS will probably deny your asylum claim because you're here more than one year. It doesn't mean that it's gonna get denied at the end, but at the stage of USCIS, they will deny you. And then the case will be referred to an immigration judge based on where you live. And here's tricky, right? If you live in like a really bad Southern state, or like Texas, we might ask you to move somewhere where the judges are better. And I know that's a lot to ask. That means picking up your family and your kids and moving to a new state. But if you stay in a state like South Carolina or Texas, you probably will have no chance to win. So what's the point to even start all this? But let's, let's say you live in California or New York and you have good chances of winning this. When we get to immigration court, we will ask the immigration judge to keep you here and cancel your deportation through this 42B cancellation of removal. We'll ask them to give you a visa and a green card in this category. We'll give them proofs how you are eligible. We'll do forms for 42B. We'll fill out and give them whatever paperwork they need, like your tax returns for 10 years a medical letter or a letter from psychologist, and hopefully you'll be able to give us somebody who is gonna be a witness in your case, like a doctor or a surgeon or a psychologist, and they will speak to how your kids need to remain in the United States. Or maybe we'll figure something else out. Right now with Biden and administration, there are other options we can work with, but this is basically how it works. We get to immigration court, we file the 42B application, it's a form, and we attach copies of whatever evidence, proofs of your case that we need. Proofs that you're married, maybe, uh, proofs of your kid's citizenship, proof of their medical hardship, we submit it, and then we have a trial, a court date, where all of this gets presented to the court. If you win, you don't get a green card on the spot. Sometimes you have to wait for another year and a half to two years for a visa to be available, and they, that's what they call it. That means there's no quota for you until two years from now, perhaps. All this time you'll be legal and you'll have a work permit. But the judge will say that we cannot give you a decision right now, come back when we have visas available for the quota, and when we come back, you'll be approved and you'll get an order of a judge approving you for green card, giving you adjustment of status. And with that, you will receive a plastic green card for, for you know mom and dad, whoever applied, and welcome to United States letters. So that's the process of cancellation of removal in a nutshell. The risks involved, we don't take just anybody. We really filter these out, but many people do qualify and many people find when they do consultation with our attorneys that there's other things they do qualify for that they never thought about, including asylum that I mentioned, for some people VAWA and other things. So definitely invest in a consultation with our team, find out your history. Sometimes you'll you'll uh, gain you know, a lot, even from ordering something called a FOIA, your archive copy of your prior immigration stuff. And you'll find things there that you'll be very surprised to see. And some people will qualify and get cancellation of removal. So give us a call today. And please, if you like this video, put the little heart below, press the heart to give us a like, become a subscriber, and we'll make more videos like this with our team to make you guys really good content and real educational information about immigration law that we love and we're so passionate about. See you soon. Bye-bye.